Imagine if we still used dial-up telephones. Aideen Babakani, an engineering professor at the University of California in Los Angeles, says that's the equivalent of what people with traditional pacemakers are using. Pacemakers use a very old technology. They still use wires. They still uh, use batteries. Uh, and they're still bulk, they're bulky and large. Babakani is working to update that technology with Dr. Mehdi Rizavi at the Texas Heart Institute in Houston. They envision a system of tiny chips that will pace and defibrillate the heart. The limitation up to now with using pacing has been that we can't, we simply don't have enough pacing leads, pacing sites, to distribute this energy across the heart muscle. This will prevent patients from feeling a shock when their implanted defibrillators go off. I thought I'd walked into a, a lamppost. It saved my life that day, but it was, it was also a fearsome thing to go through because it was so painful, so painful. So far, preclinical trials have been successful. We did the test in six simultaneous chips all over the heart, and they were all pacing together. The goal is to thread the chips into the heart on a catheter, much like doctors implant stents. Only the chips will be delivered through a vein, not an artery. In the ultimate clinical version, it's going to be a battery-powered source. It's going to be thin and flat just under the skin. Razavi likens the generator and the chips to a symphony and its conductor. You have 30 chips in the heart, so you have 30 members of the symphony, and you have this device, this power generator under the skin, and that is the, the conductor. And it orchestrates simultaneously in unison. It commands all those chips, and those chips follow its command. And you are essentially taking that energy from the shock and distributing it through these pacing chips. And therefore, each pacing chip's output is going to be significantly lower. So by doing that, you don't feel a shock. It's just like having a regular pacemaker. You don't feel anything. They estimate heart patients will have access to this new technology in about five years, bringing the technology for pacemakers to a level on par with that of a smartphone. Carol Pearson, VOA News.